Whether you're buying a payware aircraft, awesome new scenery, or an add-on tool for Microsoft Flight Simulator, the last thing you want to do is buy it from the Microsoft Marketplace. Hey everybody, it's Hotch Mania, and Microsoft has made it really easy to get add-ons through its Marketplace as part of the game in Microsoft Flight Simulator. Excuse me, Simulator in Microsoft Flight Simulator. I don't want to incur the wrath of the internet by calling it a game, but... When you go through there, it seems like a really easy way to get add-ons that cost money or sometimes are free through the marketplace. But it's actually a huge mistake to be purchasing any of these add-ons through the marketplace, unless, of course, they're free. And the reason why it comes down to a couple of different things that a lot of people don't realize, I made this mistake when I went with Microsoft Flight Simulator. First and foremost, updates in the marketplace are not the same as updates you get if you buy directly through the vendor. It's really important to understand that when a developer creates a new add-on for Microsoft Flight Simulator, inevitably there are going to be updates, whether they are critical fixes, nice enhancements, general updates, whatever the case may be, there are updates for many of the products and they come out regularly, again, depending on what we're talking about. Sceneries, less so, more like, you know, payware aircraft get a lot of them, but again, there's gonna be updates in the whole lifespan of these products. And when you purchase it through the marketplace, the update cycle is far slower than when the developer releases it on its own. So as an example, if you're purchasing a payware aircraft or an awesome scenery, if there's an update, it will come out immediately through the developer website, or even third-party websites like Sim Market and others. But through the marketplace, it will take longer for that to occur because, well, it's just Microsoft. We're not exactly sure, but just updates take forever to filter through in the marketplace. And this can be really important, especially because a lot of these updates have to do with performance, fixing bugs, and just general improvements. So that alone should stop you from purchasing anything through the Microsoft Marketplace. Reason number two is to be fair to these hardworking developers, it costs them money if you purchase it through the Marketplace. What I mean by that is Microsoft takes a cut of the profit from the developer. Now, of course, the developer agrees to this. They're not going into this certainly unaware of this fact. They get a lot more sales through the Marketplace by simply being there. That's good for them. But in the grand scheme of things, if you really want to support a developer, you're better off going to purchase it through them. Many developers have their own first-party websites you can go to to purchase these products. Now, number one, they're getting more of the money, which means you can help support what they're doing and their future endeavors. Number two, you're going to get those updates a lot faster, which is great. Now, if those two reasons still weren't enough for you as a reason to purchase anything through the marketplace. Number three is a really good one as well, and that is modding is encrypted on marketplace files. So if your plane needs a file mod, you can't do it. Now, modding in general is a bit of a gray area depending on the product, but generally speaking, if you get an aircraft through the marketplace, you may not be able to edit the files. As an example, the Aerosoft CRJ is a popular product you can purchase through the marketplace, but if you want to modify the aircraft.cfg file, you can't do it, it's encrypted. This sort of encryption prevents utilities that might need to read them in order to work. And this is actually more common than you might think, especially if you want to get access to airport data like runways, taxiways, and parking spots. This is very common among payware sceneries in which, you know, the outside community wants to enhance it, make it a little bit better, right? We've heard developers have been asking Asoba to remove the encryption. So that way, again, it can help the community and help everybody else in total. Because, of course, if the community is enhancing things, the developer can leverage that and put that into their product as well. But right now, that really stops it. You know what? This reminds me, there's actually one more reason you shouldn't purchase anything through the marketplace. And that is you cannot revert to a previous version once you've updated it. So as an example, if you purchase something on your own, you can always create a backup file. Heck, sometimes the backups are provided for you by the developer in older versions, but with the marketplace, you're not allowed to do that. So that's another good reason not to purchase through the marketplace if you're considering that as an option. So you might be wondering, well, why would I actually wanna buy something from the Microsoft marketplace? There's actually one really good reason. And that is if you have Microsoft Flight Simulator on both PC and Xbox, you can take advantage of purchasing one for both platforms. Now, I'm not sure how many people actually take advantage of this or even fit into this category where they flight sim on both PC and Xbox, but that is probably the biggest advantage to purchasing things through the marketplace on top of, of course, the convenience factor. When you get in there, it's really simple and straightforward. You don't have to worry about the community folder, editing files, and depending on some add-ons, this can be a little more tricky or not. In my opinion, buying things on your own and bringing it into the sim is pretty simple. Most developers these days, including Phoenix and Fly-By-Wire, all provide installer programs that you just run and it sets it all for you. So there's really not much work to do. But for a lot of other people, they're afraid to do these kind of things, especially if you're brand new to Flight Sim.
Another reason you might have to purchase through the marketplace is you have no choice. Sometimes products only come out in the marketplace or at least come out there first. I remember with some of the Coronado products came out only in the marketplace. So that can be an issue. Similarly, some obscure developers sometimes release scenery that you just can't get anywhere else. It's really too bad that this is the case because I thought the concept of marketplace was an excellent idea. Over the years, I've really, really wanted to avoid the situation I had with previous simulators of juggling add-ons purchased from so many stores and then needing to keep track of different passwords and all the keys that are with them. It's a real pain, especially if I have to reinstall the sim, which happens more often than you think. And good luck if one of those stores or developers goes out of business to be able to get another copy of it and maybe even manage it going forward. That's an unfortunate situation, and I was hopeful that we'd move past that with the marketplace, but in its current form, the Microsoft Marketplace is still just not a great idea. So my advice to you is simple. Don't purchase anything through the marketplace unless you absolutely positively have no choice in the matter. If there's something that you see that looks pretty interesting, Google the name of the product and the developer to see where else you can purchase. Certainly Sim Market, Orbex, and a variety of other places are really good options to purchase them from. Heck, you might even save some money with a sale that's going on there. Who knows? Let me know in the comments below if you are for or against purchasing add-ons for Microsoft Fly Simulator in the marketplace. I'd love to know if there's a point that I missed in this particular video. If you like this video, hit the like button and please subscribe to our channel. It really helps us out if we can get to a thousand subscribers. We're getting there, but I need your support. So please subscribe. It's free to do so. And I would really appreciate it. This has been Hotch Mania and we'll talk again real soon.